Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about Renway Gen 3 Alpha. I'm going to share some prompt ideas with you guys. I'm going to talk about some things that I really like about it and some things I don't like about it. So let's get started. To access Runway Gen 3 Alpha, all you got to do is go to the runwayml.com website, click on Get Started, and to access Gen 3, you actually have to have a standard plan. Now, the standard plans cost uh, around $15 a month to get started, and I think that gives you about 60, 625 credits, and that's going to give you about 63 seconds of uh, film, generated film, AI film a month, which is not very much. So to generate a film after you get access to it, you just want to come in here to your prompt area, and just like any prompt, you just want to type in something. So let's just say, okay, so... Let's take a quick look at this here. Uh, this is a cyberpunk woman walking fast down a dark alley as a scared man hides behind a trash can. S camera suddenly pans to the man. Okay, let's see what we get here. So, all right, let's check this out. Okay. <laughs> she looks scared. And I guess the man's gone. There's no man there. Uh, so that was a little weird. Um... Right here, she looks like she developed a second arm. You know, it's still AI. AI is going to do what AI does. But you can see the writing here. The neon lights look great. The ground looks really great. Video quality is really pretty solid, except for that part there. Um, of course, you could always re rerun this. Get another prompt if you want. You can click on the rerun here. If you don't, if you do like that, you can. Over here, you can save the seed. Right here, you can save this seed and you can come back to it. And it won't get the same generation, but you will get something that resembles this lady. And you can also click on here to remove the watermark when you want to download the, the film itself. Resolution on this is only 720p, which isn't the best, but you know, this is still an alpha phase. So Okay, now if you'll notice down here too, there's a lip sync option. I'm going to show you guys what that does. Okay, so this particular prompt was a full face shot of an older gentleman. Still shot, wide angle, documentary, cinematic. Okay, looks good. Now, I'm going to show you how do you... Not like this, okay. Welcome back to Chris Unlocks AI. Welcome back to Chris Unlocks AI. Welcome back to Chris Unlocks AI. So it's a little glitchy there. Um, I believe it would have been better had it been just straight here and said it. That's what I was kind of hoping it would do. Uh, right there, feels like it kind of got a little weird. But you know, still looks really good. The guy's facial movements look great. Um, and all the, all, once you, when you generate a video, like, uh, any video, it will have that lip sync option below the video that you generate. Uh, this is, this is in the asset here. So this particular one here was full face shot of an older gentleman slows in, in on cinematic. It looks good, but it looks like a still shot instead of him. He's not blinking, his eyes aren't moving or anything like that. Uh, now, one cool thing that I really like about Runway's Gen 3 is it can do uh, some uh, text really well. This prompt here was a title screen with dynamic movement. This scene starts with the vintage Las Vegas strip painting through the neon lights, ending up colorful neon sign of a large man waving, standing behind neon words that light up and read Chris Unlocks AI. Sign is detailed and texture centered, superb cinematic lighting. Now it didn't show the man waving, which I was kind of hoping it was kind of kind of for the old cowboy from the Vegas. Um, but as you can see, though, it looks really cool. Some of the things you want to do when you're going to do prompting is you always want to try to have like a subject, and that could be a piece, you know, person, people, or uh, item or thing or something, and then you want an action as well. So you know, like uh, walking or standing. Uh, then you want to set the mood if you can, like, um, you know, like uh, a busy street or if you want to do something like um, flying through the air or blinking. Um, 
And then you want to establish the shot, you know, like, you know, whether it's going to be a cinematic wide angle or pan shot. Uh, and then you want to try to pick your style. Like if you want to do cyberpunk or, um, you know, modern or, you know, classic uh, cinematography, you know, uh, 70 millimeter style. Uh, those things kind of help get your uh, your prompts down. They do have some prompt um, ideas here for you. When you just click on right here, the guide here. So we'll share this and then it has some prompt structures. So, you know, kind of gives you ideas on how to get the best idea prompt. Um, you know, like for instance, it's got some sample prompts, continuous hyperspeed FPV footage. The camera seamlessly flies through Glacial Canyon and Dreamy Cloudscope. They have like some keyword camera styles you can use. And these are really handy if you're kind of going, what, you know, I think it's great that they show examples of it. So like, what's, you know, what can I get if I put in overhead or high angle or, you know, handheld? But this isn't just stuck to this. If there's something, you know, if you want to do a 30 millimeter lens, try it out, try those out. Uh, you know, they really encourage you to just be creative with it. And, you know, um, and, and I think, you know, we should. I mean, this is just giving you kind of some basic prompt ideas. Because uh, this prompting on here is definitely more detailed prompting than it would would be like in just, um, you know, some of the early phases of, you know, AI to uh, text to image or text to video where it would just be like, you know, a dog walking through a park. You can do that now but and with uh, this, but, you know, if you really want a better outcome, you probably need to get a little bit more detail in your prompt. Uh, it will not do movie scripts, so you can't just enter a movie script. Uh, but you can see that if you, uh, you know, it does time lapse really well. Um, <laughs> one of the prompts is that it grows, which is kind of kind of cool, or it merges, explodes. You can kind of see this is right here on the asset button when you click on the home page here. You got the guide right here, and that yeah, and then the view guide right here. So um, one of the downsides about this is it's pretty expensive. Um, you know, for 10 seconds, it costs you 100 credits. And uh, to me, that's that's kind of high because you burn up through them pretty quick. And like I said, I mean, initially, you're, you're only going to get, you know, 625 credits, I think it is, um, if you're just doing the starter plan. Yeah, so the starter plan only gets you 625 credits, and that's for $15 a month. And then you can buy more credits for... A thousand credits for ten dollars per purchase. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that's pretty high, uh, you know. So it's ten sec, ten credits for yeah one second of Alpha Three video generation. So, um, and the credits do not renew each month. Yeah, it says up here that the credits do not renew. So if you if you're buying credits on this, you want to use them up before your renewal date. And uh, so if you want to do the pro plan, which is thirty dollars a month, it is twenty two hundred and fifty credits, and they say they have an unlimited, but it's still twenty two fifty. So I was a little confused on the unlimited one. I uh, haven't really dug into it more, but so it's supposed to get unlimited video generations, but then it says you get um, with no rate restrictions reset to twenty two hundred fifty every month, starting from your subscription date. I don't know what that means. Um, I mean, is it truly unlimited? I, I would have to reach out for somebody to figure that out. But that's actually $100 a month if you do it monthly. And the, this is 35 for the 2250 So it's, uh, like I said, it's it's pretty costly to, to run it. Uh, in order to do, it costs you a lot to do a five-minute video, you know, uh, if you're going to do like a, a music video or something. I'm hoping that that cost will come down. Uh, it is still glitchy, like I said. Um, there's, you know, it's AI. Let's see here. Uh, these are one of my, some of my favorite ones here. So the first one I done was just a dog playing bass, guitar, a live band, rocking out. Okay, I was just trying to do a generic prompt. Um, there's a lot to see here. When you keep watching, it gets worse and worse. Okay, so... 
Uh, first thing, this guy's playing some bass notes, which looks really cool. This guy here, he's half man, half dog. Look here. <laughs> he kind of looks like a dog. He's got a dog snout. He's only got one leg. And, yeah, so that's kind of funny. Um, this is just AI being AI. And then we also have... Oh, wrong way. Here we go. Also have this one. Now this one was hilarious to me. So the same prompt. Um, so this is a dog playing bass guitar with human hands. That wasn't the part of the prompt. But if you watch his hands, they kind of convert back from a dog's to a human. And I mean, he's playing what looks like bass, which is really great. Uh, except for the plucking hand, he's kind of slapping it kind of it's kind of got a weird uh getty lee thing going on there um this guy over here really cracks me up he looks like barf from space balls and i kind of love that um and the drummer in the background is really hilarious he's hitting some air cymbals and he's playing guitar and drums at the same time not real sure and this dude over here is just kind of rocking out to your left so <laughs> but i think barf the barf lookalike is my favorite. Rest in peace, John Candy. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. I think it's great. I think it's uh, really fun to use. I think it's very good. Um, but I think it's very expensive right now. Uh, I don't think it's going to... I wish. I think it would be nice if it got cheaper, but I don't think it's going to get cheaper. So uh, what do you guys think? I mean, how are you using this now? Are you waiting for it to come, trying to come down? Um you know, it's clings free right now, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, runway is, you're going to, you know, they want to be the one that you go to. And right now, I think it's probably the best on the market. Um, so we'll see what Sora does, but Sora's way behind on the game. And um, I don't think they're coming out with anything anytime soon. So that's all I've got. Tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below. And uh, thanks so much for watching.